Next speaker, Dan Halliman, was elected to the City Council in 2009 on the Republican, Conservative, Independence, and Libertarian lines to represent Queens. Mr. Halloran is the only Libertarian to sit on the New York City Council. Let's hear it. Dan Halloran. A democracy is going to trample over all our rights. It doesn't care about you as an individual. It cares about the group think. And we are not part of the group think in the liberty movement, are we? No. No. We care about what? Our liberty. The Constitution doesn't give us rights. It enumerates the rights we already have. remind my colleagues in government that because the Constitution is silent on an issue doesn't mean the government gets to do what it wants. It doesn't mean that the Bill of Rights limits my ability to have freedom. The Bill of Rights recognizes the freedoms I already have and had before there was a government. Now, I am so happy to see so many people here. And I am so happy to see so many people under 40 here. Let me hear everybody under 40 shout right now. It sounds like a Ron Paul revolution in here. Let me tell you something. There are other good Liberty candidates. Let me give a shout out to Gary Johnson, former governor of New Mexico. When Gary came to New York two months ago and sat with me at City Hall and looked out and said, Hey, Dan, what do I got to do to win? I said, you just got to keep talking about liberty because that's what's going to win elections in the end. We are done playing politics as usual. We are done listening to the establishment. And the media, they don't fucking have a clue. Not a clue. Rock Paul only three in every major poll. Where's the reporting on it? It's not there because they don't want someone like Ron Paul to come in and shake up the establishment. They don't need a Gary Johnson messing things up for mainstream candidates. I'm not all about Republicans, but I am all about liberty. I chaired the Republican Liberty Caucus for two years before I got elected, and everyone said, there's no shot for you to win. Well, guess what? I fucking won. And we're going to start winning. I give you a little inside track. Right now, I'm just, I'm just a New York City councilman. I was asked by the Republican Party this week to run for state senate, and I'm going to do it. And there's going to be a libertarian in Albany making sure the state senate does what it has to do. And then I'm going to go to D.C. and really piss people off. But I can't do that without you people. Listen, there's plenty of politicians who are going to get up here and try to sell you something. But your Liberty candidates are not part of that group. Ron, Gary, they're out there talking about the issues for real. Because you know what? They get it. They don't need the government to tell you what to do. They don't need the government to regulate your lives. 
They don't need the government to take half your shit and tell you it's okay. Because it isn't. And you have to take your government back, and that's what this movement is doing right now. Let's hear it for liberty! In all, in all respect to our friend from New Hampshire who's here, who talked about leaving, fuck that shit. I'm staying in New York, and New York isn't going to be a blue state anymore. It's going to be a real state. And you're going to make that happen. Look, we've got a lot of people out there who are pissed off at what's going on. We've got a lot of people who are upset with what's going on. We have a lot of people who understand this can't continue. You can't continue to do this. But let me tell you something. There are people in the Republican Liberty Caucus, and they're here, they've got a table over there, pulling for liberty in the Republican Party. There's even a, I saw it, I couldn't believe it, a Democrat Libertarian. I am fucking thrilled he's running for Congress, and he's over there too. That's what we need. People who are going to say to their party, I am not going to be part of the machine. I'm going to go out, I'm going to run for the people, and I'm going to restore this republic and constitutional privilege, and we're going to make it happen. Now, I'm going to try to keep things short, because I know Mike Church, my good friend, my great radio host, is going to be talking to you shortly, and then Sheriff Max is going to come up here and talk to you about liberty. Amazing, amazing people. But let me plug somebody who uh, kind of has a special place in my heart. Mike Hughes is over here. He is one of the surviving 9-11 firefight first responders. Mike, where are you? There he is. One of the New York's finest. He served in the NYPD. He's out there. He's got some liberty flags for you. He's got some Republican reminders of this great city. For those of you who don't know, my cousin, Lieutenant Vincent Haller, is one of the first responders who went up to that tower that day for our country and died. My brother Patrick, another firefighter, went to those towers. Thank God he came home. But Vinny left his wife and six kids behind. Those who are willing to sacrifice liberty for security will in the end get neither. And I say that despite having lost somebody in those towers. Don't give up liberty for security ever! I want to thank our hosts, our organizers. Ian, you have done a fucking amazing job here tonight. Gigi, thumbs fucking up for you too. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with uh, two thoughts. The first thought is from Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, he's a bit of a progressive Republican. He's a bit of a progressive. But he said, in moments of decision, the only thing you can do is the right thing. we got to do the right thing here and now. That's number one. The second thing I want to say to you guys is, don't ever believe anything the media tells you. Anything. Because they've been wrong every step of the way. They're going to be wrong every step of the way, and you know better than anybody, liberty isn't dead. This country will go on. God bless you all. God bless the United States of America.